Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again it is time for a press day, but a quick reminder for those of you who watch these videos, please remember to click like down below, be greatly appreciated. Uh, so today I wanted to really mess with the wider grip, because I do feel like when I've used the real wide grip, you guys have seen me do it some with the axle bar, I feel like I get so much more just shoulder involvement, like all the heads of my delt slide up more, I feel like I get more upper chest, and it's not just front delt and tricep. Um, and, you know, we can make the argument here that more muscles are involved. It's going to have better overall development. Uh, and it does feel more natural to me through the range of motion, especially near the top. And some people point out it feels awkward at the bottom, and it does for me too. And it's because I know that for me, some of those muscles are weak. But I was able to replicate my closer grip performance with it today, right? So I haven't lost any strength by switching to this. And again, I really want to just build my overhead pressing strength a lot. I feel like it's going to continue to help with my, my shoulder health. Again, I've got to continue to work mobility. I want to work all these angles, and so I'm going to bring the press back up. Uh, and I feel like it's going to carry over to my bench, especially if I'm going a little bit wider grip bench now. Really have to get that power out of the bottom of the bench. The overhead press is the key. Now, people notice, yes, I'm doing these strict uh, the whole topic has come up of, of hip drive. Look, I'm not interested in comparing people's cheating reps, right? Starting strength press is called a press 2.0. It's not a strict movement. Hey, you might as well be doing a push press. It's just that they're using hip drive instead of quad drive. And if you want to do a push press, do a push press. I'm doing strict presses. And you know what? The whole point here is to build shoulder strength. All right, this is just to strengthen the whole shoulders up and to get stronger also in the bottom position of the bench. Because if you can get real strong at a strict press, you're going to have more power off the bottom of the bench press. Okay, it's going to be a lot more power out of the bottom. And my bench is my weak link and my, my big three. It's going to help. And so, again, want to build the shoulder girdle up. And so this day, the press day, is kind of really a shoulder and back day. And I'm going to incorporate some stuff I've done in the past to really get my press up originally. Like I used to do standing dumbbell presses. Uh, that was something I was doing for a while when I originally got my strict press to 225. And you know what? Um, I feel like I need all this. I need these different angles. And I'm even looking at because I don't like the way the incline feels. I may be going to dumbbells as my secondary press for my bench day. So it kind of comes back to something I've told you guys historically. If you really want to get thick... Take a big movement and do a barbell movement first and a dumbbell movement second. And in this case, it does give more complete shoulder development, right? The wider grip press does get more side delt involved. Your whole shoulders get involved with it with the standing dumbbell press. So we're really getting a lot of involvement. And I can shore that up with other shoulder work as needed. Uh, I'm going to be doing the wide grip inverted rows. Again, if you guys look at the data, uh, those inverted rows actually hit the side delt. They're a side delt exercise, right? In addition to being a phenomenal rear delt exercise. So my supplemental work is, again, boring but big. Uh, did it all wide grip, though. Did it all wide grip so that we're, we're doing it that way. Uh, five sets of 12 on chins, of course, on the last set, I just felt kind of out of steam. And I think I stopped around eight, but I got like four sets of 12. Um, just body weight chins. Again, at my weight, this is fine. Uh, getting great stimulus. It's not like my back is lagging in any way. Uh, and, and I like them. And I do the range of motion that my joints allow for. I don't care. I don't care for anyone's criticism. So, did five sets of chins. And then I did, you know, with fairly light dumbbells. Because, again, I'm not used to them. They were actually hard. I just did 38s. I did three sets of 12 on a standing dumbbell press. Now, when you, I get to them, you guys will notice I do them with palms facing in slightly. So again, similar to how we do a dumbbell, we don't want to turn the thumb way out. We're avoiding, trying to avoid internal rotation of the, of the shoulder. I want to keep external rotation of the shoulder on, on most of my overhead work. Now, chins can be the exception. They're my one internal rotation movement. But I'm trying to really pay attention to that uh, because that seems to be how I avoid impingement. Because for me, people are like, well, stress on the shoulder. I'm not worried about stress on my shoulder joints. 
that is not the concern. So people are like, well, some of the wider grip stuff. No, that's not the concern. Stress on the shoulder joint's fine as long as it's stress we can handle. It's impingement, okay? And there's a difference. If you don't understand the difference, then you don't know what impingement means. Impingement has nothing to do with your joints. It's muscular, right? And I've had shoulder impingements. But I've been working really hard on opening up my subacromial process with dead hangs. Um, I'm picking movements that seem to work around it. And you know, everything that I do overhead, if I'm wider grip with it, it seems to work better. We're not getting those problems. That's why my chins are wide grip. My pull-ups are wide grip. Even my inverted rows wide grip. Pressing going to wider grip. It seems to avoid those problems. Now the first set was off a little bit, lost my balance a little bit. But again, we're hitting a totally different angle. Second overhead press, working the different angles. Again, the whole idea, complete shoulder development. I've done videos in the past explaining why dumbbells is a secondary movement, what they do specifically. It is not about balancing the two sides. It's about the free movement causing more complete development through fatiguing of different muscles because your form changes. Okay. So again, I feel like this is a good one-two punch if I really, really want to bring up the shoulder girdle. Uh, and this has given us a lot of different angles, right? We're going to have two different angles of chest pressing. Two angles of overhead pressing. Of course, again, we have pull-ups every week, chin-ups every week. Inverted rows will be worked in now again, in place of the dumbbell rows. Uh, again, we're hitting a lot of different angles here. Um, and I'm going to be making some changes, some stuff with my squatting. I've looked back historically at where my squats were strongest. My shoulder health is getting really good. It might be time to adjust my squats again. Hey, as long as my shoulder health can keep up, I may need to go to my stronger position on squats and quit all the high bar squatting. You know? Get that squat way back up. We don't want to walk in and have just a low 500 squat by the end of this year in the 198. We need to really bring it up. And so, again, some of what I'm doing with my other equipment allows me to do that. I have all the tools to rebuild the slightly wider stance squat. And I, and I think in general, this is what we need to be looking at. These movements of can we get the most muscles involved? You know, we know on wider bench, overhead press, all this stuff, we get more total muscles involved. Not just about the slight change in the range of motion. Okay, if we're going to be as strong as possible, we do need to be thinking in those terms. You know, and I've always say we have to balance that with our ability to train a movement. If we can't handle the version due to our joints and inflammation that does that, then we have to adjust. You might have to close grip bench. You might have to high bar squat. Okay, but these are individual limitations. But yeah, so knocked out four sets of inverted rows with a wide grip, lights my rear delts and stuff up. So I hope it has been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.